Hey everyone, <laughs> I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum. As you can see, I've got a big box of Squire here. What have I got in this big box of Squire? It's an unboxing video. Here we go. Let's just get straight to it. Let's cut to the chase and find out what they sent me. I know what it is. It actually says on the side of the box what it is, and you know what it is because you read the title of the video. Uh, so I don't know why I'm being coy. It's a Starcaster. They've really got this thing wrapped up. Here's my scissors. You know, it's funny, I just shipped out that Squire Contemporary Telecaster that I contested out this morning. And now I'm <laughs> unboxing it, replacing it, with a different Squire. Oh uh, yeah. So I played with one of these at Summer Nam 2019, almost a full year ago. So I wash this back here. And uh, I was just smitten with it at Summer Nam, and I highly recommended it. And I know a few people bought it off of my recommendation. But here I am, without one of my own. Somewhat recently, Fender started contacting me. They sent me the uh, the Lead 3, which is a really fun guitar. It needed a lot of setup out of the box. I don't know what happened there, uh, but once I got it dialed in, I love that guitar. Um, but in that correspondence with them, I was like, hey, yeah, send me the Lead 3. I'd love to uh, check that out and spend some time with it. Uh, but also, um, I might be the first person you've ever contacted to do this, Fender, contact guy. Um, can I have Squire stuff? <laughs> I'm probably the only channel that goes directly towards requesting Squire stuff. Because I just, I love the cheap stuff, guys. And you know what? Squire actually makes, oh man. I'm not hungry now, but I might be later. And this is a lot of silica gel. I'm joking. Don't eat silica gel. I make that joke because it probably says on there not to eat it. Do not eat. Do not wet. Do not open. Okay, I won't. So where was I? I love Squire stuff. Here we go. The undressing. It's even the color that I wanted to. It's just a stunning looking guitar. Hopefully I like it as much as the one that I played at uh, <laughs> Summer Nam a full year ago. All right, let's check out some of the details here and see uh, how the fit and finish is. A little bit of discoloration on the bottom side. Let me zoom in here with this detail camera. A little bit of discoloration here. A little bit of like flecking around the edges of this black contrast thing on the headstock. And I'm a big, you know, on my Summer Nam video, a lot of people were dissing on this headstock. This is a classic headstock, guys. This is a decades old design um, from, you know, part of Fender's funkier era of stuff, but a lot of stuff has been based on this headstock design over the years. And I'm really happy that Squire brought it, brought it back with the Starcaster instead of opting for, you know, like a Strat style headstock or something like that, which they could have easily done. Has a little bit of an Elmer's glue smell to it. That's been the smell report. Really clean finish on this. What do these go for? I, I think they're like 350, 400? 400 from Sweetwater. I'll put a link down below to a few different retailers. 
For a $400 guitar, my impressions are pretty good right now, right off the bat. No irregularities in the binding or anything like that. Nice, clean, clear coat across the neck. Vintage style tuners back there, but they're not split top, but they are a vintage style. Everything looks really clean. Has an attractive look. Uh, let's let's plug it in and see what it sounds like. Get it get it tuned up, right? It's gonna need to be tuned up. I should set up my full pedal board and give this thing, you know, a proper treatment. Board problems. Let's figure out what's going on. was making all that noise, but that was crazy. drift out of tune because I just brought it up to tune for the first time um, but man yeah it feels just the way I remember it feeling at Summer Nam really fast comfortable modern neck on this like a medium fret. The frets are exactly what you would expect out of uh, you know one of the higher end squires. Tactile on the end but not sharp in any way. A little bit rounded but you know what are you gonna expect out of a $400 guitar? <laughs> Despite my sloppy, terrible playing right now, let's throw a little bit of drive on here. Let's throw a little verb on there.
as I give it another tune, get these strings broken in a little bit. I'm feeling a really unique kind of regret. There's the kind of regret you feel when you've made a mistake because of something you've recently done. Uh, this is the kind of regret where I, I honestly, I, I should have just got one of these. I knew I liked it at Summer Nam. My first impressions right now are really, really good. I'm really just immediately in love with this thing. It's got this high character like personality to the sound of the pickups and the way it plays and feels. It has that twang. Yeah, I should have I should have made this happen back when they uh, first hit the market. <laughs> tell it doesn't need any setup out of the box the action is great on it certainly not like lightning fast I'm gonna check the intonation right now a little bit sharp on a couple of the strings but pretty damn close especially for out of the box $400 guitar I'm always shocked at just how great squires are set up out of the box I mean I mean to you know maybe hurt, risk hurting my relationship a little bit, that Fender Lead 3 I got was not set up out of the box at all. I had to do real work on that thing to get it playing as good as it plays now, and it plays great now. The bones were there, just needed a little help. This thing out of the box is ready to go. Like I could I could just walk out the door with this right now and gig with it and, and feel totally fine with that. Man, those strings need to get broken in, though. <laughs> Let's get pretty ambient with this thing here. fuzz. That's from the Tysco fuzz.
I'm calling it, guys. I'm in love. I was worried that, uh, you know, the production version wouldn't be as fun or nice as what they had on display at Summer Nam. No, it's, it's great. It's really great. A little bit of rough stuff inside the, uh, the binding on that F-hole there. But, I mean... That's all to be expected with a very affordable guitar. Which is what this is. Uh, uh, next part of this. Something to think about. I don't need more than one semi-hollow in my life. Is this going to be it? Can this do it for me? Or do I need to keep the Harley Benton? The Harley Benton has cut coils on it. But... I don't know, it's, it's fine. It's a $200 guitar or something like that. So half the price of this, but I don't know. I don't think about this guitar a lot. <laughs> I keep it around uh, to have a semi-hollow where this guitar, I've been thinking about it since Summer Nam a year ago. And it really connects with me right off the bat. Let's do a little uh, side by side here. Sounds good. It really does. Harley Benton stuff is great. Especially for the money. You cannot argue with the price of that thing. While also being kind of a looker. Benton here. More of a growl, if that's what you prefer. This certainly leans more into a Fender style sound. Brighter, twangier. Um, it has these wide range style humbuckers in here. I don't know how close they compare to the real thing. Everyone who's a wide humbucker fan, a wide range humbucker, um, gets really bent out of shape over the various versions over the years. I'm like, well, it's not a real wide range humbucker, blah, blah, blah. Well, I like these ones. I like the sound of them. I like that kind of brightish twang to them. Even when I play them bad. The way this one feels to me a lot better it just it, it appeals to what i like about you know the fender style design the neck is very familiar to me it's a it's a bolt-on neck versus the set neck of the harley benton but uh i mean i am a fender boy that is the style of guitar that i like so it's not no surprise that this appeals to me 
better. I also like that, you know, whole offset aesthetic there. That's a hard, hard decision to make right now. I don't know if I'll move this thing into the wild. I have a couple more Harley Bentons on the way. So maybe I'll make that decision when I can compare this to one of the Harley Bentons that I'm gonna receive soon. But I can't keep everything forever, which is part of the problem. Um, there's too much stuff around here. I've gotta move things. <laughs> so something's gotta go someday. All right. I wanna jam out with a little loop, have some fun with this. I was playing a cake song earlier. Maybe I'll do more of that. like it guys there's something about the feel of it there's something about the way it connects to my body it sounds great to my ear you might prefer a different kind of sound but I like that bright kind of twangy sort of response this thing has given me yeah man what was I thinking I should have got my I should have bought one of these with my money freaking year ago why didn't I so anyways <laughs> screaming endorsement there I think you guys know when I'm excited about something and I'm excited about this guitar I love it <laughs> all right well thanks Fender for uh, sending this to me at my request um, all right Stay grounded, everybody. Bye.